Hi, this is Chris Adams, the food bookkeeper. We are on our final day of why entering sales is um, so important. We have broken down the five criteria per day on um, what is needed to enter sales. And today is the final day and we're talking about tips. Um, and it's going to be a real quick video, um, but I just wanted to mention about the tips and how in the hospitality business, tips are so essential. So they are obviously paid directly to the wait staff by the customer, but they're still subject to taxes. So the IRS sees money as income, even when it's paid in cash, and even when you don't see it in an employee uh, paycheck. Um, but the IRS wants to cut of the tip revenue. <laughs> I couldn't get that out. Um, this money does not actually um, count as restaurant revenue. So let me say that again, because I wasn't, I wasn't clear, I don't think. Although the IRS wants a cut of the tip revenue, it does not count towards the restaurant revenue. And that is um, something that I just wanted to make clear. Restaurants are supposed to withhold taxes on tip income but this income counts as earnings for the wait staff rather than for the restaurant. And this also is included for credit card tips as well. It's not included in the profit and loss statement of the restaurant and the restaurant does not include any income or revenue tax because of this money. So that's a key point. The last thing I just wanna mention about tips is that there is this, and you may have heard about it, is this 8% rule. It's, um, and I want you to contact your uh, payroll provider or your CPA for more information, but I just kind of wanted to make sure that you're aware of it. The, the IRS has this verification system so that to make sure that the restaurant is reporting enough employee tip income. Um, and, it co and collects tax on that income. So in other words, you must collect tax, you as the restaurant owner must collect tax from your employees on tip income equal, equaling to at least 8% of the restaurant's gross sales, whether or not they have actually reported this, that amount or not for the tip income. So it, I have heard that it is you know, it brings up a red flag for the IRS for auditing purposes if you do are not at least at that 8% level. So I just wanted to bring that up to you. That is something that you definitely want to talk with your CPA as well as your payroll provider. Um, I know most of my clients are making sure that TIP is reported each pay period. I, I think um, in the beginning, some of my clients were doing it just monthly, even though they were on a bi-weekly pay cycle, but it's best to do it each pay period just to make sure that you, uh, the employees are staying with you for employment um, and that you have actually recorded all of their tips um, and that it's just easier to do as a system doing it each pay period. So that is it for the five videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. And um, I thank you so much for coming in each day and listening to our videos. We are, there's a couple of next steps. So we are in the process of uh, creating an online course for creating uh, or for how to enter your sales into QuickBooks. It's a whole video series on how to help you do it. This whole week has been about the why you're entering sales but the, the online course will be about how you actually do it. Beyond that, we're also um, in the process of creating an online course of total do-it-yourself bookkeeping. So if you are at a point in your restaurant where you can still do the bookkeeping yourself, but you needed some assistance on how to do certain things, this course actually will, would help you out. If you are at a point where you don't even have the time to be doing the bookkeeping, that's where the food booker, bookkeeper can help you out. So feel free to give us, um, send us a message, give me a call. My contact information is on this email. Um, we can either put you on the wait list and uh, get, keep you updated of when the course is actually going to be released, or we can talk to you about possibly um, 
bringing you on as a client and we could help you do your bookkeeping. So excited to speak with you. And I thank you so much for joining me each day this week. Have a great day. Bye-bye.